Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here's a quick unboxing of my latest. It is the weekend, by the way, so get excited right now. After a couple slicings, you ready? Here we go. Oh, baby. That is right, guys. Let's do it, do it, do it. 50 miles per hour. And lifting the box. Here we go. You love that smell. Look at that. Let's see what's included real quick. Boom. It does come with all the things. I have the FPV mount, guys. So first person view. So if you have a GoPro camera, like I do, you can strap it on here and it's set up that way what it comes with. Real briefly. So that's what it looks like, the cage and the FPV camera. And it has a Spectrum dashboard compatible so if you want to get like the speed of the car you could put attach a speedometer to the actual controller this new dx2e is pretty badass i always wanted one because it does have the uh low medium high right now it's set to high but you know if you want your son to drive this powerful truck because it's so powerful it's 130 amp speed controller he'd still be able to use it so i always thought that was pretty cool there you go another quick look so just to let you know it is four wheel drive is dx 2 active with the active vehicle control so it can help you out brushless when you um driving it for people who don't know how to control it too well but see i'll tell you the problems about this truck the list down real quick bam guys there it is in all its glory Ooh -ee. looking good i like that white it's got the little gray rims this thing's pretty tall and it looks absolutely gorgeous you know, you got some stickers on the front, low seat tenacity. Um, it's a 130 amp speed controller. It does have Velcro on here, so I already pulled out the body pins, threw them over there. Uh, let me show you really quick what it comes with. You got an antenna tube, you got some Allen wrenches. Um, you got a grub screw, but I don't see an extra pinion that came with this. I don't know if the optional 12 tube comes with it. Supposedly it has a 14 already built in. And if you run it on 14, one of the problematics is that the, the system gets hot, the ESC and the um, motor well i think more so the motor if you could just replace the motor uh there's the fpv if you buy the first person view camera it comes with a bind plug uh two brochures on how to do the fpv and um how it works and stuff and then uh there's expanding your driving experience if you have an android or if you buy the spectrum speedometer like right there you know and then of course the instruction booklet it comes in like french a few other languages in the beginning it tells you how to program the enc esc exploded views etc etc kind of black and white but it does its job what it is All right, let's open it up real quick so weak points of the car is the body supposedly is kind of thin and it does crack and break easily um this is the perfect car for me because you guys know that i like to do speed runs and it might you know it won't overheat if you're running it on the street a lot but if i bash it you know i'll just re uh, replace the system i mean if you replace the motor get some um, shock caps aluminum i think these kind of pop off sometimes but other than that it's a solid solid truck you know let me put the vine plug over there but let's look at the the guts and glory here sorry about the bad lighting it's a 3800 kv motor and this is the main problem here mainly i heard this motor gets real hot it's 130 amp dynamite it does have a fan cooling fan on it so the esc doesn't get as hot i think it's mainly the motor but it can i don't know but i'm going to leave the 14 tooth and i'm probably going to run 3s because i'll probably upgrade the system anyways um set set button to set your esc if you want to do like lipo or turn up the punch level uh this thing sits real high so i like that see that space underneath it's kind of like um it's got a nice design and i like the way the, the way the chassis is it reminds me of that old 10 mt or you know the old low c models line before this um tires got really good compliments off of a few guys who bash on um youtube and uh, it digs in and it works real good. Uh, I think they're 12 millimeter. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but yeah, again, the 14 tooth comes on it. Normally, you want to change it to the 12 tooth to get that so it's not hot. Um, but other than that, I think it's it's bashable. I mean, it, it holds up well. Oh, one more thing. I also heard that the chassis cracks in half. So that's a big one right there. Boom. <laughs> so if your chassis breaks is not that good to get so they did lower this but i think it's worth it man to drop it from big price like that and then to drop it down 150 dollars you know and go on tower it's a huge huge discount um i didn't get it off there actually i got a actually better deal but um anyways um yeah i'm gonna run this thing oh the one more thing i want to show you this was a big complainer 
bottom battery loading compartment there's the phones right there a lot of people didn't like that i mean i don't mind it whatever you load it on the bottom the bottom gets dirty but you know you could always change it and install some straps in the front that's no big deal to complain about i think it is what it is when you have the body on you don't have to worry you just throw that battery in there you know what i mean and not have to worry but I, I guess you still have to take the body off to plug it in so that's kind of unless you like put it like right here and then when you plug it in then put the battery in it's plugged or whatever or like like right here or something like that but it is ec3 uh, let me try to give you guys some better lighting there you go let me turn it this way to show you guys a uh, quick scan but anyways guys this thing looks good i think it's badass i think it's gonna run fast uh one thing i want one more comment it's a few more then i'm gonna wrap this up so talking one tenth monster trucks, um, I think, you know, for the length, because it's kind of long, I'm going to do some size comparisons later on to show you guys, um, but it's a lot longer. So it reminds me of, you know, probably the uh, Big Rock Crew Cab from Arma or like um, um, the ECX Ruckus, you know, it's got that longer kind of body, um, but I think the system's just a lot more powerful than the... Um, the ruckus because obviously that just comes brushed right now and i think the looks looks a lot better because it sits higher and I, I just like the space and just just the overall look of the truck i think looks pretty badass and it is low c you know low c is supposed to be good i mean with a few upgrades here and there shock caps you know new system that's nothing that's nothing i mean you have some lying around um i might throw a like you know a 3300 or whatever just to just change the motor and I think it'll be good. I mean, you got a 130 amp speed controller. That thing's gonna gonna kick ass. I seen it kick ass pretty much. Um, there's your front bumpers. Um, it's pretty strong. I mean, I think that I seen this thing flip and take a lot of beating um, just because of that little thing don't mean nothing. Well, the chassis thing's the big problem. I guess if the chassis cracks, that's a huge one right there. But um, I'll probably find a way to reinforce it uh well maybe i will <laughs> and then oh look so you got comes with double a's you know it doesn't come with batteries but um you get your own batteries you do that um you know i have a ton of batteries and it'll be ready to go anyways guys thanks for watching i'm gonna get this low c running i appreciate you guys it is the weekend have some fun guys and have a great one appreciate y'all